What happened here, Red? Don't get yourself involved in another one, Joe. That's our job. Red was the student-appointed head of the school's junior justice squad. I lost the position by five votes. Just tell me what happened, Red. Look, it's an, it's an open and shut. You, you don't even really need to know. Well, then why can't you just tell me, Lieutenant? Or are you afraid I'll crack it faster than your little team here? It's already been cracked, Joe. Yeah? Yeah, now forget it! This is a public library. Huh? Dawn, the school librarian. She was hard as linoleum and still running the place after nearly two decades of post-retirement stress disorder. Listen, some kid comes in here last night. Name's Billy Crystal, just a coincidence. Anyway, this boyo checks out 50 books and leaves to the front door. Wow, that's nearly 50 books over the limit. No kid should be reading that much. Mind if I take a look around? You're not gonna find anything but sure. Come on, boy, let's file it, Steve. What are you gonna do with the kid? Expel him, hopefully. Quit wasting your time, Joe. You haven't cracked a thing in months. The card catalog has been tampered with enough. Unless you feel like dealing with the Library Force 5. That's just a myth. I think if you're not more careful, the only myth around here is going to be you. Don't make me blow my whistle. The evidence so far was clean, until I noticed something. Nearly all the books had come out of the section J, the section closest to the counter. Something was up and it wasn't the jig. Nobody seemed interested enough to take a closer look at this avocado, so I was the one left with the tab. I started calling in favors. Background check on the kid here. Some files there. It wasn't exactly a regular trove behind every card or paper. But when I had everything I could get, it just didn't add up. Kid was a dunce. Billy had failed phys ed. He'd failed science. Oh no, the coppers are after us. What are we gonna do now, Lyle? He'd gotten a C in drama. Billy's only source of income was his job as assistant janitor. His parents didn't give him an allowance. They weren't around the house much either. And he cut his own hair. Why a kid who had failed every written exam or subject he had ever taken would love books was baffling. And it didn't take a sprocket scientist to figure the lack of motive was a big hole in this cheese box. The only person I hadn't asked about him was him. So I paid Billy a little visit. Hello, Billy. My name is Joe. I'm investigating your case. See a sign out front? Yes, I did, Billy. Tell me, do you sign everything with an X? Them's how you sign. Billy, can you tell me what you were doing the night you signed out all those books? What? How did you get the books, Billy? Oh, well, so just in the back of the truck. What does that mean, Billy? Well, you see, I'm more of a Pisces. Man. You're the man from yesterday. What are you doing here? How'd you get the books? Oh, the sack. It's uh, just stealing the working. Yeah. Sack. And I was working. And I was pulling on my little sack. And those rips and the paper went everywhere. And the little trail. And then I went back and I picked up the papers that I had dropped. Re-put them in the bag. Rebagged, bagged him again, and then I drug my bag back to the truck. And when I got back to the truck, to my dismay, there was another sack of books 
in my truck. Not there was one there before, there was just one there now. This right here. 